it so why not <laughs> take care of it so simply it's a stick it so why not take care of this now ladies the talk truth whoever write these comments you know think you know think you don't want him in your in your life talk truth talk truth whoever write this comment talk truth tell me you don't want one in your life <laughs>
who actually respond to my topic and i'll go with this one first he said of course now my woman what did they fit justify in other words he's saying yes this is my woman what is in there what is in that for me to justify why are you going to justify the fact you have them say a sissy man by stay free or their mother never grow them well or a mama man come on why why is it that we're we have this stigma on sanitary napkin if you're having sexual intercourse with a woman you have to expect and she's not pregnant you have to expect that she's going to see her monthly and this is aka her period this is aka her menstrual now you have some women that does take pills and injection or some form of family planning so that they don't see the blood because some women are afraid of blood now what is your menstrual your menstrual is when none of your eggs are fertile so you know that come out of you blah 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 blah. don't know the whole nine yard all right so i'm gonna think we need to go down in the details about that my main thing is just to see and hear the feedback of men when it comes on to go into the supermarket or the shop to buy a sanitary napkin or a stay free or a pad anything that you call it anything that you're comfortable with calling it for his woman alrighty somebody said um question goes out guys would you buy a sanitary napkin aka pad for your spouse the person said yes because it's effing normal and i don't know why this is a still a stigma going around and it's the same thing that i am saying why i think why i decided to do this video i was watching this video on facebook and this um husband went out and he bought sanitary napkin for his wife and she called him and she he pulled a prank but the prank went wrong and when in the comment section I saw even some women, you know, and this is what I can't understand. Some women were saying like, um, that's not ladylike to ask your, your spouse or your husband to buy um, sanit pad for you or sanitary napkin for you. One lady commented and said in the many years that she's been married, she have never asked her husband to buy a sanitary napkin for her. And I'm like, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is so wrong with asking your man, your boyfriend, your, your boyfriend, your husband, your side man, however you want to put it to buy a sanitary napkin for you. It does happen to the best of us, you know, because you might go on the road, you might get messed up. It's not that sometimes your period play tricks on you. You have some women out there, men, that has an abnormal menstrual, so they can't sit on a calendar like myself to say, all right, my period is coming on the 25th of this month. They cannot because it's not a guarantee that the period might come you know so some women experience period three times um, for the year some experience every three months so it's not a set date that they can jot down so why stopped multiples unlike me I do because the brand that I use always and there's a specific time that I use because of different reason sometimes it's hard to get and it's very expensive so especially when i'm away i will buy like a six three to six so that um i have enough to to supply me for a period of time so i don't see why at this time it's a stigma and the sad thing about it not only man was bashing this woman but also female you know and i think one of our biggest tear down are women all right so let's jump on to the other person as a man yes i would nothing wrong with that Another person said, I have I have before and for a friend once. I see nothing is wrong with it, but I won't go to a wholesale and call for it. I'd rather go and pick it up off the shelf. Yes, we know that there are some men out there that now I'm gonna go in a shop and say, Mr. Chin, sell me one stay free there now. <laughs> or Mr. Chin, sell me one partner. No, we know we we know. That a lot of men won't do it they will walk into the supermarket they will go exactly they probably have the picture on their phone they look at the picture look on the shelf to see it's the right one and then they will take it up go cash it if a six seven eight they will take it up then cash it and come out and nothing is wrong with it but this stigma we need to put an end to it and we are putting an end to it tonight 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 you understand however guys before we go on don't forget to like um follow me on all social media at dina k12 on instagram chris and beauty bar 
JDCRs underscore lifestyle <laughs> and Estesia Williams double Johnson on Facebook and let's talk with Sue. Alrighty. So now let's go to this answer. And I think this was a brilliant answer. And whoever did this, um, thumbs up to you, sir. He said, without a question, there's nothing wrong with getting it for her. It's your girl or woman and she needs it. Why is it so uncomfortable to take her clothes off in the time of, for sex, but so wrong to grab a pack of stay free off the shelf because she needs it? It's just how the Jamaican community place us into categories because to them, if you do that, then in their eyes, you are shaky or a girl clone, etc. But I have no problem being that to them for my girl. And uh, you know what anything is um you will find that let me see maybe the, the one them will say them a bad man or them a gangs and them a gallies and i'm like ah, nah, 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 <laughs> the Sunday, and sometimes because of our, you know, because of our Jamaican culture, if a DJ sings about a particular thing, and if the DJ goes against it, then you find it become a stigma too. Did you know that? Yes, you know, in a Jamaica, no, another one there. Um, the one in the man, I think an elephant man sing it. Man, something that now, not the same. Now I'm being with the same rag and some, some, you don't remember the song there, but I think you guys probably know. I'm going to try and probably Google it. When I'm editing the video, I'll put it at the bottom. But base, when, because of Jamaica, um, because of our music and you know, our music is one of our biggest influence. So anything that Jamaicans has to say, especially the DJs, they put it in songs. So when you have these types of songs going out there, you know, so you're gonna have the man them. And you look at squaddy them don't really understand much about life and relationship and a respect to a woman that will actually um understand so they will go and say, Me nah, man, no, stay free for no girl and I will a man clone not tell me for you think me and you know, you understand where I'm coming from? So all of these things does happen. Um another comment said, Of course, there's no shame in that. Another one said, Yes, and I have done it before, even for a friend who just didn't have any signs, but it catch her. I don't view menstrual as nasty, I view it as mature, and it and I'll take care of her for the entire week. She goes through this, and for me, I'll never cre create a comfort food. I'll even create a comfort food supply basket for her each month to take the pain and stress off it's better. Same place, me take it, so why not <laughs> take care of it? So same place as stick it, so why not take care of this? Now ladies, talk truth. Whoever write these comments, you know think you know think you don't want him in your in your life. Talk truth. Talk truth. Whoever write this comment, talk to you. Tell me you don't want the one in your life. The one that sound right. Whoever you be, mister, I bet him taken. Mm -mm, the one that the one that sound, the one that sound like somebody would have add, would have add. Duh. Can you add him to your WhatsApp or your BBM? <laughs> Not good at all. And we do agree. So thumbs up to you, mister. For doing that and the little gift basket side there that kind of catch it too ladies so yes you agree comment down below and let us know the comfort part at it so let me say my take the week yes okay you know so the menstrual lasts between three to seven days let me say five to seven days is a normal some women based on how abnormal they have with their menstrual it might goes maybe beyond seven eight days but technically it's between five to seven days and a normal menstrual so and as I said, you know, once the egg is not fertile, then that's when the menstrual actually comes along. All right. So the last comment before we go tonight is, I mean, I said a line of the Monday just a while ago. The comment, let me just read a while ago. The Monday have a buzz. Talk to ladies. They have a buzz. Mister, if you're single, comment down below. Not for me, but me normal ladies, them. You have a buzz. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I honestly don't see how males jeer other, ma other males for doing this it's in no way demeaning or anything like that it's honestly just like taking up any other item in a supermarket it's not like it's used those persons who judge men to pick up a pack of sanitary napkin 
faith them spouse are truly backward see that and me not me said that i me not take back my chat and i hear that and i hear that yes men so if you sir are you sirs out there that does think that buying a pack of sanitary napkin for your wife for your girlfriend for your side chick for your matey no matey as in man no matey as in woman <laughs> Coming down the mind stand up. If you all think that is wrong, then you need to go back, recheck, double flick, back flick, and something. Because we are gonna do the stigma yeah. tonight, tonight, tonight before 2021 end. And guess what? We did this on November 30th, 2020. So not 2021. We don't know make it this 2021 coming up. So sanitary napkin, especially when it's not used. So men, all you have to do is go to the supermarket and pick up a pack of this. Maybe this is not her brand, okay? And this is not a paid promotion. So this maybe this is not her brand, but not no wrong with it, Papa. No, 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 cut out the stigma, man. If your girl asks you to to get her a pack of sanitary napkin, maybe a pack of panty shield. Freely do that without complaining. Them something they done. That's a back of days. If you can accept some foolishness we are going to this world, why you cannot accept by now? Sanitary napkin saver. So guys, uh, thank you again for watching another vlog with, of course, yours truly, Anastasia. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And turn on the bell notification so you can see future updates and content that I will be posting. Alrighty? Share with a friend, tell a friend, tell everybody. Leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think about the stigma. Do you think it's time for us to end this, especially in our Jamaican culture or the Caribbean culture? Culture, we end this tonight, tonight, tonight. Alrighty? Um, remember, if you want to see me post any videos, any content, don't be afraid to send me a message and I will see what I can do and I post it. Take care of yourself and Merry Christmas. Maybe next week, next video, next video, maybe, maybe next video we might have a surprise for you. Alrighty, live good, keep safe, keep dry, sanitizing. Bye.